What's going on, YouTube? This big pencil are coming at you again with a nut. Well, I have been turkey hunting hard ever since the season come in. I hadn't been able to kill one yet. I just was able to see my first bird this morning. I've been four times to be the fourth time I've been this morning. I can only hunt on the weekends because I got to work in the mornings and I just ain't got time to go. And I ain't too much on going in the afternoon. I mean, most of the time I got Callie with me and I just, I'd rather spend the day with her and, and hunt on Saturdays. Well, the situation I had this morning I got permission to hunt a buddy of mine's property. It's full of turkeys. Turkeys all over the place. And I've hunted it. This be the third time I've hunted it so far. And I had, I've heard birds gobbling every breath, every time. I'm talking probably 30, 40 times they gobbling. Constantly gobbling. Three or four of them be gobbling at the same time. Well, when I got there this morning, I don't know how well you'll be able to hear it in the footage, but they got pretty close. I mean, they got real close to me. I mean, I, I'm hoping you'll be able to hear the goblin in the footage that I'm going to show you. But where I'm sitting at, straight ahead, there's a field, but I'm, I'm right on the property line. I mean, I'm just about 20 yards from the property line. And so I couldn't go no farther than that. Well, right through the woods, straight as you're looking in this video, there's a field. There's a field right there, and that, well, that's where I heard the first bird gobbling at. And when I heard him gobbling, two more was gobbling far off in the distance to my left. Now, I had this bird coming to me in that field. Now, I didn't know if he was going to come where I was sitting at, as you can see in the video. It's pretty thick woods right there, and I wasn't 100% sure that I was going to be able to get him to come to me, but I was hoping. And it was kind of dark when I got into that spot, so I didn't, I wasn't able to really look and see what kind of spot that I wanted to set up in. And, and uh, but I know better now than what I'll do next time. And I, I might actually get that bird if they do the same thing. But when that bird started gobbling in that field, I looked to my left, and I, them other two birds was running, running across that field straight to me. And I clucked and purred a little bit and had them coming. And when they come, there's a ditch that separates the property line and they just I hadn't been able to get them to come across that ditch well as I looked as whenever I got got finished hunting I looked and there's a road on the other side of that ditch that comes up straight to where I was at and I had that bird come within 20 yards I seen him I'm not a hundred percent sure if it was a, a, go, a tom or a hen it looked like a hen but I couldn't see it much. I only caught a couple glimpses of it coming through the bushes. But I'm gonna say it was a, it was, it, I, I don't know. When I looked at them gobblers, when they ran into the edge of that road there, it was 20 seconds that bird was right in front of me. So it could all possibly be that that was that long beard right there that was coming up that road to get to that other gobbler that was already with hens that was out in front of me. I don't know. But either way, he was moving pretty quick if it was a, a tom. He was moving pretty quick. I'd have never got a shot at him no way because it was, was kind of thick right there to my left. I only really had a shot farther to my left or straight out in front or back behind me. It was the only shots I had. And uh, But that was, the, that was probably the most exciting hunt that I've had so far this year. And I figured I'd share it with you. Stand by. We're gonna have we're gonna bring you a hunt.
Well, as you can see, like I say, I don't know how well the footage is. I haven't looked at it yet, but I mean, I'm gonna put it in. I'm gonna put it in the video, but I'm gonna keep hunting hard till the season goes out. I ain't giving up. I'm, I'm gonna at least try to get a shot at a bird. I might hunt a different spot next Saturday. I don't know yet. I hadn't made up a mind yet. I got another spot that I can go to. The daddy's had some had some birds coming into him. And he ain't quite confident to shoot his shotgun out 40 yards. And he had two birds this morning at 40 yards standing around looking for the hen that he was in, uh, that he was acting to be. And I mean, if it had been me, I'd have laid one of them out. I mean, I know my gun will kill him out to 40 yards, but he don't have no turkey choke in his gun, and he just ain't confident to kill him that far. So he didn't shoot. But I might go there next weekend. I don't know yet. I, I don't know. I had to make my mind up. But I'm telling you, them birds I had on me this morning, that'll set your blood on fire. Now, I'm telling you, I, I've been hunting them now for five years, and I'm, I've never been real good at it. I mean, I've, I've learned a little bit here and there, and I'm learning more and more each time I go. But uh, I've never been able to call in a bird by myself and kill it. I've... I've killed a couple birds from other people calling for me, and I've killed a bird just on freak accident. He just happened to run by me. But I've never killed a bird that I actually called in myself and, and sealed the deal. So that's my goal for this year. But this is Big Pencil, and we will be back with another one soon.